crows. My name is Kim and I am a psychic and animal mystic. I talk to the animals. Crow is an excellent messenger. Today we are just gonna see what does the crow want us to know. I love when it rhymes. This is a collective reading and when you hear your message you're gonna know that that's for you. That is what, what the message that the crow has has for you. That's that's yours. We're all going through a refresh right now I feel like. It's been really difficult. We're now finding a little motivation. We're finding a little breath of fresh air and we need to kind of know going forward. What, what do we need to know going forward in our immediate future? So right off the bat, we have community and scavenge. So we're gonna start right there with those community. What's going on? Okay, yeah, nurture. I'm hearing nurture, I'm hearing family. I'm hearing the people around us that we care about that really mean something to us, both what can we do for them and what can they do for us. So it's really a time to come together with people, especially if you've been feeling depressed lately, if you've been unmotivated and you've just not been vibing lately, which has been happening to a lot of us. Uh, but if you've been going through that, now is the time to come out of isolation if you've been doing that. Uh, it's, it's a time to connect with people. It's time to reconnect with people, your people. I'm not saying go out to the bars and meet all these new faces. No, we're not saying that. Just wanted to double check. That's not, I'm, it's more of a reconnection. It's more of a kindling. It's more of a rekindling of, of our family units and our community. Okay, so our community and, and what what is the people who are important to us and the relationships that are important to us. Uh, we need to, to be connecting with those people just to uplift our spirit. This isn't necessarily uh, they need us or we need them. This is a, a reminder of who matters and what matters. Um, so it's, it's really a time to be reconnecting with people, especially if you've been isolating lately. It's a time to kind of reconnect with the people who, who matter to you and who you matter to. Okay, uh, scavenge is also here to say it's time to get a little scrappy. It's time to get a little creative. It's time to, to take the next step, but not necessarily in the most conventional way. Um, all the words are mixed up in my head right now. I'm waiting for them to put them in order. I'm getting this. Okay, so like in line, it's like get your ducks in a row, but maybe they're not ducks. Maybe they need to be in a circle. It's kind of like, <laughs> that makes no sense. I understand that. <laughs> I have the rest of it, but I can't get it out. So sometimes we, we think we know what the next step is. We think we know the order of operations for how we need to do things and how we need to progress in our lives and what we need to do next and all these things. And sometimes what we think is the proper order and the proper way to do things isn't right for us. That's the conventional way. That's the way society tells us to do things. And sometimes that isn't right for us. So it, this is about taking the next step that's right for you. It, even if it's a little weird, even if it's unconventional, even if it's like, maybe I should go this way, but I really feel like I should go this way. Go the way you feel, do what you feel. And that's kind of scavenge is telling us that it's like you need to, to get resourceful and get creative because the natural, natural is not the right word. The, the conventional next step for you that you think is for you isn't for you. And so you kind of need to rummage around for what is actually going to be helpful for you, not what Instagram tells you is helpful for you and not what your, you know, mentors are telling you and, or, or the way that other, you know, you, you look to people and how they've accomplished the things you want to accomplish. And so they did it X, Y, and Z, but you may need to do it PDQ. I am really hoping that that makes sense to the person who, who needs it. So it's just, just rummage around. Okay. Get creative and, and and self-reflect on what is the next step for you, not necessarily what is the conventional next step that would be for a normal person, because there's no such thing as normal. So you need to, to find what's right for you going forward. All right, what does the crow need us to know about our immediate future? What else do we need to know? 
What do we need to hear about what's coming up for us? What do we need to know about what we need to be doing and thinking about? What does the crow want us to know? About our immediate future bond. Yeah, see more reconnecting and just people. There's a lot of love available right now. And maybe I mean like romantically. Mm, but maybe also I mean there's a lot of friendships. There's an abundance of love. That's like the, they just, shoved that word in my brain that phrase abundance of love there's an abundance of love right now um but not not just in for us to receive but in for us to be giving because we're starting to kind of come out of this summer heat wave heavy sweaty misery and and we're stepping into crisp fall weather Southern Hemisphere are the way around. We're coming out of winter and, and stepping into the hope that is spring, you know? So there is a lot of, we got a lot of love to give. And that's what this card is here to say, is to be looking for love. Be looking for love, but be looking for the love that you can be, be giving that you've been holding back on for whatever reason. Um, so make sure, it's not like throw yourself into service and charity work, like that's, that is not what this is. This is, is instead of looking for someone to love you, look for someone for you to love. Okay, so if you've been looking for new friend groups, like look to some people who you may have something to, to offer the group, you know, a unique perspective, a, a skills. I don't, it's, it's, that's a weird way to say, what skills do you have to offer your friend group? But you know, who is, what, what do you bring to the table? And make sure that you are are offering that when you're looking for new relationships because there is an abundance of love right now and it it starts with you. It starts with with the 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 love you are willing to share with people and and that's going to help you find the mutual love that we all hope to to have because we want to be loved, but but in order to be loved, we also have to be able to love. And so make sure you're able to love and make sure you are you are offering any any just love and kindness that you you have to be making sure that you are are putting that forth and again this isn't a throw yourself into volunteer work and charity work this this is a lot more of what you have to offer relationships in terms of support and kindness and compassion and love so um please be there's an abundance of love. Please make sure that you are divvying it out. Okay, what does the crow need us to know? What does the crow need us to know? How long have we been going? I don't know. Usually I know the time. Let's do some more territory. Mm -hmm. Comfort zones. We've been sinking into them lately. And it's time to venture out of our comfort zone, the safe territory, the place. I'm not saying put yourself in an unsafe situation. <laughs> I'm never saying that ever, ever, never, ever, ever would our, our guides lead us to something dangerous. Okay. To be clear, but it's time to ah, do that uncomfortable thing. It's time to, to chip away at those things we've been putting off because they're uncomfortable, not necessarily because they're annoying or because they take more work than, than what we have energy for right now. These are the things that are, you know, a difficult conversation, a, a, the asking for a raise at work, the reevaluating your relationship with, you know, your person who you're, you're feeling like you're not, you know, getting you are feeling unloved and that you're not getting the love that you deserve and and you know you feel like you could be more loving and you want to do that and maybe that's the conversation you have to have just an example but a relevant example to many of you okay okie dokie but the difficult conversations basically is is what this is kind of pointing out to and and the uncomfortable the un uncomfortable the un uh, 
I don't like the phrase they're giving me, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. The uncomfortable. Oh, now they're changing it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Just the 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 uncomfortable thoughts. Okay, not scary dark thoughts. The the thoughts that you turn away from because you are in your comfort zone and you tend to limit yourself when you're in your comfort zone. So the things where you thought, man, you, you, like, it'd be so great if I could just get that new job, if I could get a promotion, if I could, could find the love of my life, it would be so great if I could redecorate my kitchen. You know, those thoughts that you immediately go, oh no, 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 that's too much work. I don't qualify for that. I don't deserve that. Whatever stops you, whatever, there's that thing that comes in your mind that makes you feel like it would make you happier and you immediately turn it away for whatever reason it is. I'm not enough. I don't deserve it. It's too much work. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You're never ready. You're never ready for anything. So this is kind of the, the do the thing, think about the thing and talk about the thing and start exploring the thing that you immediately shut down, that you immediately say is a no for you that, that you, that that is not meant for you. There's a reason it keeps popping up in your mind and there's a reason it hasn't left. It's because it is meant for you. So however small it is or however big it is, it's time to start exploring that. It is time to start stepping into the what if in a non-limiting way. It's time to say, what if I did get that promotion? Follow that. Don't stop there. What if I did get that promotion? What if I did get that raise? What if I did introduce myself to that person who's like super cute sitting over there? You know, what if I did redecorate my kitchen and then I am able to be more excited about cooking and then I'm able to eat healthier and I'm able to feel better energetically and I'm able to do my magical things because I'm fueled properly and I'm able to progress in my life a little more and I'm able to to learn how to bake that loaf of bread I've always wanted to learn to bake but can't because I don't have the right things in my kitchen. Like that kind of thought exercise, like follow the what if that makes you, that, that you feel you're not ready for, that you feel like isn't for you. Follow that because whew, Yeah, it is for you. It is for you. Last one, one more. I'm just gonna pull. Teamwork. Everything is about people. Everything, everything, everything is just about, about the people around us, okay? This is a running theme. Mm-hmm, okay, yeah, this is. So what I love about this card, I'm gonna show you it. Uh, make sure that you can see that. So this is a hawk and those are crows and they're doing what is called mobbing. So songbirds will do this and crows will definitely do this, but it's basically where smaller birds will gang up on a larger bird of prey to annoy it into leaving their territory. It is a hilarious thing to see because if you see a hawk flying around and you see a very tiny bird or two circling it, that's what they're doing. They're mobbing it. And smaller birds won't mob something so big, but crows will mob hawks. I've seen them mob the vultures in my neighborhood. The crows will get so close they will pluck a feather from, like I've seen it mid-flight. They like yank feathers out of the vulture until the vulture leaves because my hawks um, scavenge a lot. Also, I think, and my hawks, my crows scavenge a lot, but I also think they get bored and the vultures are easy game because they don't care about much. My point being this card, that's why it's called teamwork is because what happens is birds that don't normally get along like songbirds and things who are always competing for food sources and water sources and, and other birds and, and you know, males of the same kind of bird that are competing over females will join forces to mob a bird of prey out of their territory so that they're all safer. And it's super funny because they never really hurt the bird. They just annoy it enough to leave. I love it. It's one of my favorite things that birds do mobbing. It's just a hilarious concept to me. My point is, it's teamwork, okay? So these birds are all joining up together when they otherwise normally wouldn't. And that's what we're talking about is their, you know, their community. They are banding together to protect their community. And this is the time I just, I'm getting the reoccurring thing of reconnection, 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 reconnection. 
So if there's somebody been like, man, I really need to message them and see what's going on. Man, I really need to touch base with my best friend and just see what's up. Oh, please follow through. Please, please, please follow through on those little thoughts because this is the time to be connecting with those in our communities. And like I've said it already a gajillion times in this reading, um, but it's really, really time to, to work together, together. Not you doing all the giving and not you doing all the receiving. This is a collaboration. This is a time of collaboration and a time to join forces with those around us who have also been feeling icky because everybody's been feeling it in one way or another. And we have Mercury direct now, so we are feeling better. The opportunities are there. <sighs> Reconnect with those you've lost a little touch with, those you've been isolating from. It's time to join forces, okay? If there's something bothering you, it's time to to, to connect with your people to get advice. If there's, you know, you're feeling like you really need to reach out to somebody and you do and they're dealing with something and you're just the right person with the exact right words to help them, maybe you don't even have the right advice, but whatever words of comfort you happen to have happens to be what they need to hear. And so that's why we need to be following those little inklings of, I wonder what's going on with so-and-so. Let's send them a little message. Let's send them a little email. Let's give them a little call. Okay, so it's really time to join together with our trusted people community, right? Yes. Okay, but it is time to, to come together and join forces and collaborate so that we can all make beautiful things and so that we can all be happy, okay? All right, I can't rehash that anymore, so I'm gonna stop there because they're just gonna give me every card available that says, please reconnect with people. Please reconnect. Um, please, I'm asking you, the crows are asking you, let us reconnect with the people we have just drifted from. You know what I mean? This isn't like a big reunion of sorts where you haven't spoken to them in a decade, right? This is more of just your very trusted, your people. You know who your people are, okay? And if you don't know, you need to identify them. But you, you really need to be, be reaching out and reconnecting with your people and just putting the feelers out there, reaching out, saying hello, seeing, seeing you know, the, the, the joining of the forces and see where, where it is that you need to, to join up with your people because whoo, 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 okay? Okay, all right, the crows love you, I love you. And that is, there you have it. If you made it this far into the reading, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. And I do psychic greetings and that's what we do here and it's a fun time. If you are still feeling like you're in kind of a funk and just need some motivation, I've got a video right here with all our animal friends giving us the motivation you may need to hear. Video right there. And for just more of my faith, you can click or tap right down here. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. And please remember that we're all going to be okay. <laughs>